Hello you all to this face, welcome back to another video. It is your man Tygon and as you guys can see by the title, I'm gonna show you guys my claw. Like I mean I've been playing 8 finger claw for a while, but I've never actually talked about it. I mean I've talked about it, but I haven't like talked about it, talked about it. Like when I learned six finger claw, I ended up telling you guys all about it. I never told you guys about it, it was just like a thing. I, I just never made the video. So I'm gonna show you guys my eight finger claw. And I'm gonna say this is my eight finger claw, like this is something I created. Because I've never seen anyone else do this on mobile yet, or at least on mobile and phone. But there are two versions of this claw I've created. So I've named it a very cringy name and I call it drum roll please. Oh, for mobile at least, I call it Dragon Wing Claw. There's two. There's Dragon Wing, just regular Dragon Claw. And I'm gonna get into it. So first, there's just like this. I'm, many of you guys used to see me play like this. I mean, I don't know if people look at the hand cam too much, but in this case, I'm gonna want you to take a quick little peek at the hand cam. But as you guys can see, this is how my regular Dragon Claw would look, and I would just play like this. This is a very nice and steady way to play. I've, and one thing to keep in mind, if you do plan on playing this, Make sure you take your hands and you put it over the phone like this. You don't want to put it like here because it's gonna feel like you're reaching up and it's gonna it's gonna suck. Just put it over the phone and then you'll find a comfortable position. But anyway, let's continue. So this is very steady. It allows you to hit your shots pretty easily. And if you're trying to like you know aim with something like a uh, I don't know, it, it just makes stuff really steady. Now the other method I play is what I call Dragon Wing Claw, and as you guys are gonna see, this is how I play it. So I take my hand right. I'll put it here. So this hand is exactly the same as regular Dragon Claw, right? But Dragon Wing Claw, almost as if like a wing, I would take my hands and put it like this. So this is kind of how it looks. Just one finger as the base is connected, and then the other ones are free like that. Now, this is a lot harder than Dragon Claw. It took me about like a month or so to master after already mastering Eight Finger Claw. And that's simply because of the fact that it's, it's hard because you're, it's so free. Especially for being a mobile player, starting with just at least a phone player, starting with holding my device like this, it's way harder when you switch to this because there's nothing holding it. So it's like your aim is free. But what it does allow is it makes your aim so much better. Like it made me, it increased my average aim accuracy by like 10 points when I did it. After, of course, I mastered it, but it, it does take some skill to do. And on top of that, it makes there, like there's no dead zones in your aim pretty much. You can go all the way over here, all the way over here. Whereas if you're right here, you can only do this. Like you can only do like a windshield wiper type view. This you can pretty much go in any direction. So I might have some clips up on screen of my actual hand cams because I have posted a few hand cams over the months and I'll show you guys the difference. Like one hand cam is me using regular dragon <laughs> and the other one is dragon wing. But I think I, I like that naming scheme I went with, but I'm gonna go ahead into a practice real quick and show you guys this. And just to explain it a little bit more and how it looks because it, it definitely is pretty interesting. I will say, sniping or just quick scoping is easier with playing like this. It, it just makes it so much easier to quick scope. But playing like this makes tracking super easy with snipers and everything. So let me see if I can get a sniper. Oh, that's this is marksman rifle, not necessarily a sniper. But okay, let's just use this for now. So this right here, as you guys can see, oh my goodness, as you can see, look, look at that. That's just messy. No, we can't have that settings. I can't. I can't go into settings. Um, customize. We're actually gonna just make the opacity low on this. I actually will show you guys how everything looks like a screenshot of that's super clear, super high quality with everything visible. But in the meanwhile, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do that. So right here, right, you guys can see this is how I would I used to play just what, what I would call regular dragon claw. Now these are very cringy names, but I don't care. I like them. One thing I like about playing regular dragon claw is the fact that one, it, it makes flicking really easy too because. How should I say? It, you, it's so controlled, you know? You, you're gonna be able to put your hands back in the same exact position every single time. Now, I will say I'm not too good at this anymore just because I went ahead and learned that other way. And, you know, muscle memory is kind of a hard thing to keep, but at least when you're switching off so much. But as you can see, that's kind of how it would look if I'm playing like this. But if I'm playing like this, it's way easier to hit like longer range shots and stay on target and track weight. Yeah, it just makes your accuracy insane. And I usually average about 30% accuracy when I play. Now, of course, I'm kind of off target because I have been playing on tablet a lot. And so, of course, muscle memory, switching, switching HUDs, switching devices. It's not that easy to keep on target all the time. But this is my famous Dragon Wing Claw. That's what I'm calling it. But here's how it kind of looks with a sniper. Now, of course, my snipes, <laughs> they're going to be kind of rusty. I'm just going to say that because, you know, 
new device and all. But let's go. I will definitely say it's it's pretty. I don't know. I mean, it's just sniping. But I mean, you know, I would say it's easier to do do it like this. At least when I first learned it, sniping all all, all in all is easier just to do like this. But if you're going long range, dragon wing so much better it makes it easier to track let me see if i can track this thing look how i'm tracking this thing keep in mind i have speed acceleration and 151 uh sniper sense now let's see if i was just using regular dragon <laughs> what if, this is how regular dragon looks let me see if i can actually track it although this one's way easier to learn i will say that but all in all i think this is the best way to play okay i can track that pretty well too but that's just because i played that but still as you can see it was kind of off but um all in all i will definitely say that this is probably the best way to play eight fingers on phone and many people may think that you know eight fingers is too excess well i used to make like a, whenever i did my hand cams i would actually type in the chat what i thought about eight finger and stuff but i'm gonna go into depth about the benefits of this playing style so while i do that i'm gonna also go ahead and make everything visible i love that they made this thing floating because now oh my goodness i can move anything wherever i want but without further ado let's go so right here we have the scope so we're gonna go ahead take the opacity make it visible this is the regular scope that's one thing right next thing is the drop shot button here we go regular drop shot button another finger last thing the jump button third finger so and of course we have the movement which i have very tiny for particular reasons but you guys might not be able to see it but my movement button that's four so that's four fingers right there now i just take my middle finger and i go down and then i hit the nades right there if you guys can see i just hit the nades whenever i need to you know get one and then if we go to the right it's pretty much something almost similar so for my index finger i actually use well i use my index finger to slide funnily enough you would think i would use my middle finger well my index finger to shoot but i found that it's better to use your middle finger because that way you can have the shoot button out of the way because you don't you don't really need to know where your shoot button is you just need to know what's there and this way i have way more space for my shoot button because if i had my shoot button down here where my slide button is then that would be an issue because it's just going to be in the way of what i'm seeing and i'm going to have to hit it a lot whereas this I, I mean i mean i slide a lot but i'd rather have my shoot button over here it just feels way more comfortable but as you guys can see this is my shoot button now people ask me why do i have it so big well big for two reasons one if you guys watch my last video, it allows me to do that thing I do where I, I float my hand over there to like double my tracking speed. But the other thing is it allows me to control recoil by just pulling down. Because when I was first playing Dragon Claw, that was one of the problems with it. Your hand was like literally right here at the edge. Now that's fine, but it does limit the amount of space you have. So if I'm trying to control recoil, I can't control recoil with this thumb alone. So I'll just take my finger, pull it down, and then pull this down. But with what I call, I don't know, dragon wing claw my fingers right here in the middle and if it's right here in the middle i don't have to you know worry about anything messing it up or running out of space because you know i have more space even though even, okay i still use this though. i still use this to control recoil and this is a part of it so i just drag my finger down all the way here and that's enough space to control recoil that in tandem with this makes me have almost no recoil whenever i use a weapon with recoil now as you guys can see the reload button that is once again the fourth one now many people will say you don't need a reload button tygon why, why do you have that you're not playing real eight finger claw and to them i will say the reload button is in supremely important so important in fact that i actually got a clip of it that i don't have now because you know i forgot where i put it but i'm going to show you guys how important it is but also i used to use the knife button right there when it actually worked like it, a finger claw was more beautiful when the knife button actually worked because when it's not, ever someone would just come up i'll just tap it and that'll be there too but i'm saving this for 10 finger claw when they actually make this good and when they add the other button the other button is going to be the cancer scope in multiplayer i'm gonna be playing 10 finger phone 10 finger claw on phone but let me go ahead and show you guys well let me just show you this is how everything looks and of course of course i will show you right here opacity i have my thing right here so i have my score streaks here i literally just take my finger and put it down 
and if you're worrying about sight you can see this super easily it is no it's it's easy to see it in fact i'd say it's just as easy to see as four finger because you guys may not see it from this angle but i'm pretty much 90 percent nah, nine percent of the time i have four fingers on the screen heck sometimes i just play like this almost like whenever i need to i just bring fingers down so i usually can see better than someone playing with four fingers the only person that can see better than me is probably someone with two fingers but anyway let's continue so what why why does Tygon have the night the reload button that that's not a real button that you can use to consider yourself actually playing eight finger claw no it is a real button so let's say i'm shooting right yeah i got all these now i'm six bullets left right now if you have good aim this is super good so let's say i'm six bullets left i have six bullets down someone comes charging up they running at me now i'm in the process of reloading they're getting too quick I can instantly start shooting. Why? Because one, I still have bullets left in my gun, and I have a finger that instantly shoots. Now, let's say I was using two fingers. Yes, I can go ahead and switch, but that second of delay could have them killing me, and I don't like that second of delay. So I'm gonna show you. I'm actually gonna get into an actual match real quick and show you guys myself using it. So let's kill one dude, right? And then we'll wait for the second dude. So one, right? Now I'm low, right? Where's the other guy? I'm um, okay. Let's see if I can find another guy. Okay, so I'm reloading. Oh no, he's right there. So I can literally stop mid reload now. Of course, stop. I didn't finish the kill because I mean that was an ideal situation. But I could literally finish off mid reload and take someone out. You see? But okay, guys, that pretty much was the video. I'm gonna put up on screen two different videos. One of me using regular Dragon Claw and one of me using Dragon Wing Claw. I have two hand camps already made and I'll also link the video so you guys can watch it in full if you want. But just so you guys can see the difference in actual gameplay. But that's been it. That's been it. I do wanna say though, it is hard to switch back in between back and forth like i almost lost myself playing on a uh, phone it's, it's really hard because there was someone in my comment section he said he used to play on phone but then he started playing on tablet and once he got the phone he couldn't play anymore i'm like what maybe i thought it might be a little bit different for me considering the fact that my hud is literally the exact same on tablet but no my goodness my movement and everything that was shot it took me about an hour to even warm up so i guess i'll catch you guys in the next one if you did like make sure to subscribe and if you want to see more of my content um, well, I mean, there's two more videos right here, two hand cams for you guys to just to see, you know, what I've been doing, but peace.